much in his fucking career. I don't think he fucking gives a shit about copyright claiming someone else. Uh, Balto is failing epically at that. We're trying to fuck? Stream, hey, do your thing. Stuff here. Put the thingy on. I have to refresh the page. <laughs> Pictures fading from a photo negative into monochromatic. Brought to you by Rockstar Studios. It's actually a nice looking picture. I thought you were going to say it. Welcome to Crack Horse Studios. I meant Rock <laughs> Crack <Studios>. Horse Studios. <laughs> wow, dude. Right, I've confirmed my stream is, is going appropriately. It's time for an intro. Yo, intro! Ooh. Intro. Mm hmm. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, the thing <laughs> where we done? start at the beginning and we say who the fuck we are. I am your favorite idiot. Oh, he's apparently your favorite idiot. I'm Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna be everyone's favorite idiot. Oh, God. So I'm gonna assume that you're gonna be playing uh, as Chicken Wing McGee. Well, I thought I mean, you were reading his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me something. Alright, picking up where I left morning. off. Mind away, Actually, it, it didn't morning. save. So I'll just pick up right really? here where yeah. it left off. At pay. the autosave. For the moment, Although I've told you four times already. That you have to manually save the game. Time for the yeah, well, like, it, in the middle of a mission it didn't let me. Look at you. It has an auto save feature. That's yeah, not yeah. really how you would think it would work. I don't mind starting the quest over again because I was barely out the door, as it were. What's left of me? What about you? Oh yeah, Balto, you you do that thing over there. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man, Bill. Now you ride ahead. I'm crocodile done day. Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why really? are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. If you're crocodile done day, then who the fuck does that make me? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. I don't know what the fuck. We're living you, but we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Dude, that was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Mind you, I just. I just want to stick to the plan, That's which is to lie low and head back out that west. Crazy. Now, the crocodile now literally just snapped train. a fucking deer in half. Have we got? Damn. Leviticus, Cornwall's no joke. I didn't even think that was possible. Good luck getting a whole skin out of that. Big railway magnet. Dude, I didn't even Bailey think that was possible. Man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. That gentleman. Just kind of wagged it and said, something of snapped it right in half. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! It's a baby crocodile. A little bitty baby one. Too bad it wasn't gummy. Alright! We're moving out! Huh? Gummy? Me. Yeah. Pinkie Pie's no uh, pet crocodile. Or oh, alligator. No yeah, that one. Since we're riding on horses, we might as well make all of the My Little Pony references. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up. I mean, you could definitely all probably have a crocodile with no teeth, but I, so I think it's a lot better to have a crocodile with teeth. The that way they can <laughs> actually eat. From Big Valley. We're yeah. Take it off after it crosses the border mm. into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Not so sure how they would eat if they didn't have teeth anyhow. No, they wouldn't be able to eat. Unless it was soup. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, 
after you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. That guy's wearing a blue coat just like mine. Head straight for the back. That's what we're at. Did you just say Mr. something Ford about Steve Irwin? You and yeah, he has his own park up there. Have you got a problem with that? Cool. Not if you keep your head for once. You worry Did Laser Beam yourself. go and visit it? Enough. No. After Bill blows the track, Damn. We're going to need to move fast. He should. He should vlog that shit. That would be an amazing vlog. Yep. Crystal. <laughs> yes, boss. Good. Now come on. We rode into the cutscene, which is beautiful. It's just like real life. I mean, seriously, it, it is just like real life. It's a beautiful cutscene. You know, man, if I were just a little bit more drunk, I would be like, I'm watching an old John Wayne film. Or Gunsmoke. Or The Lone Ranger. Or The Rifle. That is a beautiful croc. I actually learned about, uh, uh, speaking of The Rifleman, I actually learned about that television show while I was in prison. Interesting. Yeah, I had a little bit of a flashback there, and I just had to snap my snuff out of it. Snap my snelf. Oh, snarf. Words, English, I fucking hate you. Hey, look, there's some fucking green! It just popped out of the snow like a daisy! He was in Australia, they call him the crocodile man. I believe no, everywhere, Steve Irwin, people call you the crocodile. Yeah, yes. we know <laughs> the it fuck? crocodile hunter. Back to Blackwater to collect. How many Point. times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? I think literally That's everywhere he's called the crocodile man. Sitting for too long. Mm, the crocodile be man. Crazy to go back there now. Are you the sure we're not talking back. about one of the villains from Batman? Sounds like it, but no. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. That's the croc. You'll just have to trust it is. Or the killer yeah, croc. The Batman. Depending on which version of Batman you watched. Technically, he was always called the killer croc, no matter what. It's just oh. I call him the croc. Shut up. Shit. Get your mind on the, <laughs> the croc full of shit. Okay. <laughs> yep, Balto's trying to mate again. It's not going well for him. And neither is this T junction turn for me. You'll learn how to drift on a horse. I don't want to drift on a horse. This is not Need for Speed. You need a drift on that a horse. That dude's horse has balls. About. Holy fuck. You, you can see the yeah, balls on those horses down. even in see the cutscene. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see them shrink too if you put them in the cold. My horse just took a shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's just like real life. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I got so enamored in how realistic all this looks. I'm supposed to go down here and plant the fucking uh, TNT. Try nitro, tetracycline. that part? Yeah, I just got to that part. Come on, horsey. Go, go a little faster. You're not that far. You're not that far, in, but you're not that far off. My horse has Man, gotten like a problem here. It's not speeding up. Yeah. Come on. It's a whole 60-hour game, so you've got a lot of gameplay. At least 60 episodes at minimum. How you getting on? Yeah. It literally just said it was a 60-hour okay. game. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Including Just all the, uh, the wire and then attach other it stuff to that's in the game. Detonator. It's, uh, about 160. Pick up the spool. Game. 160? Yeah. Including all the side quests and shit. Maybe 260. I'm looking forward to some of that. Oh yeah, some of it's fucking awesome. I'm glad to see some green I mean, uh, in the world, though. 
The snow was getting fucking annoying to me. And now, including the online, it's about a 360-hour game. Okay, this is good. Now let me test the Maybe detonator four. by blowing your ass to smithereens. I got it from here. I was gonna test the detonator and blow him away. Don't need you distracting me here. Hippopotamuses are very, very. Hey, creatures. Hey, creatures. fun. Remember the plan, all of you. They kill things just for fun, is what I said. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Hey, okay. it just turned right into place so. here. Okay, cover your faces. Hey, crocodiles can get fucking huge. Now. Oh, yeah, for real. Oh my god, it's a kangaroo. Hmm, nice. Choo -choo. Kangaroos are just like giant cats. Gentlemen. It's time. It's not good, they actually are. They're like giant cats. I've got to pet one. And even what, hug me. Oh, no, wait. What, what? No. A kangaroo. Kangaroo. Better pet crocodile. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. They're like giant cats. Bang! They can hop. Uh, shit! No! What? God! Cats can hop, though, so you it's just, just a me. giant Where's cat. More. You said it was no, he stands on his hind feet. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Whoops, the TNT didn't blow. We kind of oofed. I've had a pick. Here we go, here we go! I've Whoa. had a pick, Rocky. This fucking train hijacking, though. Oh, shit! Oh, great. Both of my compadres fell the fuck off. You know what? I should let you fall. I really should. But the storyline requires that I not be a dick. Actually, I mean, you could be a dick if you wanna. Well, the other guy fell off. But I need someone to absorb bullets for me, just in case. I wouldn't advise killing any of the story characters because if you do, you're just in the mission. You have to restart oh, from game you over screen. Need to stop this train. He already tried. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? I think it's just better if you just play the game. Arthur, who's going? You kill the people that needs to be killed. My guess. Left trigger, Lenny. Okay, I'll just deal with it. Um. Yeah, you, you do that while I search the train. Oh, yeah, it gave me a cigar. When there's like literally six of them sitting on. Oh, wait, there's like eight of them. Oh, candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Definitely. I got a piece of candy out of this. No, we're not moving up. I'm looting the living fuck out of things. I wouldn't worry about looting too much stuff. Oh. Okay. You'll, you'll get bigger and better stuff later on. Ah, uh, bigger, at better, the, faster, uh, stronger uh, makes us all lasting longer. At, at this point where you are, you should probably be worried about getting the train because you have to kind of stop it. Yeah. Before the mission will end. Literally. He didn't do Won't anything in the way of absorbing bullets. Once you stop the train, you can, uh, you can then probably loot a lot more because then your whole crew will be there. Did he just come up with an automatic weapon? How are you doing there? I'm okay. Right, Overwatch complete. I'm just gonna come uh, down here. Shoot him, damn it! The Dreamcast guy. 
Gotcha. That was a tough shot. I like the interior of the train is all painted and everything. Ah, it's the gold one. 249. Gotcha, biatch! I think I just Wilhelmed off the thing without screaming. You still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, you got an arm! Who is Doing good, kid. Where the hell are you? I don't know. I need to get closer. We're gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. There's the other boy! Come on out so I can shoot you. I'll just pick up this dead body and carry it over to you because I fucking can. I don't know why I'm doing it, I'm doing it. What are you doing? Get over here. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> any more of you. <laughs> but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <laughs> I like his speed up at the final. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fuck this. We're going in. <laughs> Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Uh Okay. Now don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Dude, First this looks like a fun there, game mode. You only door. get throwing knives, dude. It's it's a game of hide and seek, but you only get He lit the fuse to the dynamite. There you go now. We're lighting a fuse of that dynamite. Unless you got if you boys don't come out of that train, we're gonna blow you all to bits. And then, and then, I got out my guns. <laughs> I'm ready to blow them away. Come on. I will shoot you if I want to. Come on, I'll blow your legs off. I'll contribute to birth control. Right here. Right now. Shooting you in the dick. I'm enjoying this. I really am. <laughs> this is so Look fun. At this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe. Dying a time. Oh yes. Should be easy. They were smoking in there. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Uh, 
Ooh. See if we can get this open. Come on. What's Come back on. here? A cigar. Pocket watch. Uh, I called him out in reverse order, but okay. Interesting. See? A letter. So I look there's at this a whole letter. point system with all your guns as well in the game online. That's interesting. So. Mm. Make so different types of guns will give you a different amount of points. That's kind of weird, but interesting. Yeah, I was wondering why it was popping up points as I was killing guys, you know? There was nothing in points. the cabinet. I don't think it does show points when you kill people on the offline. I am not robbing another as long as I live. It just kind of shows you, look, you got all this shit. I definitely saw some uh, points pop up. Bond. James. Bond. Also, you get to keep. Also, you get to keep the the store on you. It actually is in your inventory. Premium cigar. Which is really cool. A bill stack. <clears throat> what about this door right here? Can I open that? No. Swanky digs he's got here. Fine brandy. It's fine brandy. Mmm. <laughs> what is Some your decent stuff? Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, kill them here, I get the shoes. The train, I can kill them. Make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Regulators, move out. Ah, -na -na. Uh -na -na. ah, my knife. Okay. Get on the train, quick. Except for you. This is the only one that doesn't get the deal. Thirty nine cents. Thought there was somebody over there. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. We did a lot of killing. Oh, I went past it. There we go. Start the train. Oh, it's trains are coming. It's off a train. It's off a train. Well, this guy is not really saying much about the fact that you can actually find gold bars as well. Because you can find gold bars in the game. They're literally in the fucking game and you can find them. There's probably going to be an achievement attached to collecting all of them. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, if I'm not mistaken, because I found them all, I think there was... 17 of them? 17 gold bars? But if you can actually do the glitch that you can do offline, online, 
where you can uh, duplicate the gold bars, you can have a total of about 30 in your inventory. We just robbed the Leviticus hmm. Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets, so where's the behind us, gentlemen? So the question uh, is, where now? Because there's a glitch. A I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Oval. They involve saving, we'll be able which I'm not sure how the no saving problem. works on the online well, yet. Then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, I'm assuming it works exactly the same Jose, as it does off. I know you two like to or it could just revive on the auto save if it's it. Yeah, we'll find out when we get there. <clears throat> That's some beautiful scenery, though. It's just too damn fucking white for me. Bye bye, snow. We'll be seeing you never. Had enough snow no, for once. Again. Oh, fuck. But not living. <laughs> You're just the <laughs> Ah. I don't want to be snow blind for the rest of my life. You know, I, I, there's things I want to see in life. <laughs> well, there's snow. Again. Other than that, the, the, the scenery, this is like straight up like movie quality shit right here. Well, yeah, you can actually, in fact, turn it into a movie if you push the uh, back button. Are you hold it. Lenny! Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had Puts enough. those little black me, bars on your Just screen to that ooh, on, a movie. You can buy me a whiskey. Yeah. Hmm. And that music they put with it. Hold A to match speed. Yep. We're moving on out. Usually you see movies where you, you see from a distance the, the caravan moving across the terrain, but in this, you get to be part of the caravan moving across the terrain. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, nice. Say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. Huh. No hammer. Gotta use a shoulder. AV would be proud. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. So, do we get jumped right here? Because that's what I'm getting the feeling. Yep, we get jumped right here. think if they wanted trouble we wouldn't have seen them poor bastards we really screwed them over down here come on let's not push our luck what happened well get in I'll tell you <sighs> Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Go to or shoot overload. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. 
And by unpleasance, he means they raped, pillaged, and murdered like the Bretons of old. We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. <coughs> Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <coughs> we gotta move a bit faster so, here. What happened to your track? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All my life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted away. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent. Eh, black did squirrel. Sense. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. But I've been out to Oklahoma. What's that squirrel was nowhere near the size it should have been. They're fucking huge out there. Squirrels just sit there and look at you, man. They're not even afraid. They're like, bitch, please, I'll rip your nuts right off. No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place <laughs> we're going. Wait, but what's some it lovely again? deer Horse springing about? Here. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Mm. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Okay, who's about to jump us? What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the <laughs> point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. There we go. Pick up a little speed. Where's the rest of the convoy? They took the fuck off. They're like completely fucking gone, dude. They left me behind. He's telling me to slow down. Yeah. Yep. Nice. 
Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Beautiful trees. You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now. This is much more relaxed than I thought it would be. I we're about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then yeah. Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land. This looks like an interesting game. My brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. It's called Rick out Fish. Around him, be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. Beautiful I'm going scenery. To head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. What's now, usury? Everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Mm -hmm. Quickly now. I know he says he prefers Robin Banks to usury. Up, but we are What's usury? Now, and we are far too drunk. So it is time oh. for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Back in the day. Remember, we are itinerant huh. workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. Says, thus spake the fat now man. Remember, we need real food. It is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. For some reason, I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Bigshot. The main character seems familiar. Oh, don't remind me. Huh? We're gonna have the main character seems familiar. <laughs> Arthur Morgan? Yeah. It may be the face that they use or the voice acting, but it, it seems like he's been in uh, another game or a movie. I can't read cursive writing right now. <sighs> a couple of months later. Watching, oh look, uh, achievement got. Okay, I'm watching the Heartland. Okay. He's been this far east in many years. Which is a guy who gets drunk and that seems a little better. Looks his again. eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. If he's an outlaw, why is he keeping a journal? Quite a day. He's an artist. So. There's oh. a bunch and of writer. boys already in Valentine. Oh, he's Hill, keeping his Carl, skill in check. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> I'm gonna read a book. That's the equivalent back then of going to watch TV. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm out. I'm gonna go read a book. Oh, 
Buster, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. Plan your own future. And immediately, he sets upon illegality. <laughs> That's quite a future. <laughs> Ammo, provisions, something, something, dark side, something, something complete. Morning, Arthur. Oh, look, the fat man walketh. <laughs> What's this for? Who's over here? Why is this a highlighted thing? Oh. Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. <laughs> he was thinking. <laughs> uh huh, sure you were. Stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about I will to give you some good um, <laughs> pointers, though. I would not recommend Can smoking Grimshaw so much cigarettes in the game or cigars. Three young, healthy women want you to take them Although you will have to You're use your dead eye a lot. Um, just don't try to Fair smoke or do on. that a lot. <laughs> Because you might get I a different outcome. And you might want that different like outcome. Since we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would most certainly <laughs> like to see him live. <laughs> no, that's not going to be the outcome. But... <laughs> so, no matter what outcome, he's always going to die? Unfortunately, yeah. They had to do it that way so you could play as Mr. Marston. Hmm. I get it. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, the first game was based all around John Marston. Are and then, we there yet? <laughs> and in the game, you were asking, literally so yelling will. out. You were ye you were literally yelling out uh, Arthur's name in the first Red Dead the whole time. You were Arthur, Arthur. This is the equivalent of turning on the radio. Huh? <laughs> Having the ladies sing is the equivalent of turning on the radio. I wonder if we can hijack this guy. Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. <laughs> I set a blind person on fire. He was looking at me weird, okay? All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? I'm gonna knife this guy. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? We well, don't actually have to do that. I really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Oh, that one's still bucking. Do I have my rope? Yes, I do.
Uh-huh. Horse, don't make me shoot you. You hold the fuck still. Whoa, easy. Whoa. There you go, bucko. Yeah, never change the game to free aim because it actually does make the game pretty much unplayable. That's free something aim? I will say. Yeah, that's yeah, something I will I'm, say. I'm, I'm going to rely to heavily on aim assist. Already relying. PC, you mean? Already am relying heavily <laughs> on aim assist. It's my bestest friend when shooting things. He made the point I did about the game. The game seems a little more like it should be on the PC. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress but whatever. the women. <laughs> well, anyway, I seriously <laughs> think they need to fucking hurry up and make it on the PC and not wait as long as they did for GTA 5, which literally took them five more years before they could put it on the PC. <laughs> You're turning into a regular I'm comfortable waiting that long because I don't have a decent PC. Mine's 12 years old and I can't afford to get upgrades for it anyway. I'm not comfortable waiting that long because it's not that I have a good PC, but once they put it on the PC, they'll make even more better updates that will then transfer to the Xbox. See what I'm saying? Oh, my lumbagos. Yeah. I'm curious to see if some mods get put in that they're like, oh, wow, this is pretty neat. I think we'll put it in the game. No, they won't put mods. Rockstar don't like mods. Very funny. That's not this a joke. Like they a actually hate them. Town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure okay. Don't be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to uh. do any real work. She's a society lady now. <laughs> okay. It makes it sound like you these three girls lies. in the back of the carriage are See, just prostitutes. <laughs> Jeez. Here, down the main street. <laughs> He's drunk and angry. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just plain drunk. <laughs> Excuse me. Where's the horn on this thing? yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. He's mad at the fact that you have to smack the A button to move a lot faster with your horse. Yeah, I can see that. But holding it down matches your speed with um, whatever you're yeah. chasing or something. The hell's the matter with you? Yeah. What's but... the matter with me? What's the matter with you? You just walked out in front of me. All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man, it's Or tech. What are we doing? Yeah, if you just, well, that's something I tried to tell. I was going to try to tell you. If you just play the story, you'll have more money in the game than you'll ever need. Okay, fucking ever. You don't have to do those fucking side missions okay, yet. We'll you can wait until you literally beat done. the game. Then you can do them, which is what I did. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? I literally played the story up to the point where I'd beaten the story. And whenever I beat the story, I was like, wow, well, I have no more need to try to rob anything. I have so much money that I can literally just buy everything. Desperately. Hmm. You're my favorite parasite. I'll, I'll wait and see and just progress naturally. I'm just telling you something that is something ridiculous. You don't really have to do all the side missions. Just do all the missions. In general, I can see through this glass. I can actually see through this it. Is the place now. Come on. 
Yes. It's, <laughs> it's realistic. The glare and the, the angling of the lighting off the glass, the the reflection and everything, it's realism. Holy shit. We're in a candy shop. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? I'll browse your catalog. Questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the Anyhow, my point is, the door. <laughs> don't worry about the side missions until you actually beat the game. I'm just saying that because, trust me, you're not going to Forty-five dollars and forty-nine cents. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Because once okay, you beat the game, we'll some dry goods. you'll have so much money that you'll be like, okay. Assorted biscuits. So, you're actually buying for a twig with a string on it? Right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a ground coffee. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, Moderately right restores piece, right. stamina and dead eye. So I don't have to smoke, I can just eat a lot of ground coffee. It's a dollar each, so yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. Candies. <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. That's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Classic oat cakes, and he sold out. Crackers, bread roll, assorted biscuits. Hmm. They restore the same amount of health. I'll go look at the bread roll. Uh. Oh. Brandy, bourbon, cigar, chewing tobacco, rum. Oh, I gotta go back for the rum. Two fifty. Drugs, health cure, bitters. What's bitters? Cocaine gum, chewing tobacco, hair. Pomade. Miracle tonic. Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye. Oh, fuck yeah. Four dollars each. I'll take three of those. <clears throat> Snake oil. I'll take one of those. He's out of health cures. Yeah, I kind of wish that there was a choice where you didn't have to die. But, I mean, I understand it. I'm getting a lot of bullets. Arrows. There we go. Cover scent lotion. Yeah, I'll do that. Like one of those. For now, anyway. Predator bait. Live crickets. Coffee percolator. Horse care and clothing. I'll worry about that later. Thanks, shopkeep. Wait, if I rob this guy... Never mind. Yeah. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. 
It looks warm career, compared to being on that mountain. It actually looks warm. The lighting, they changed it all up to make it where it actually looks warm. I think I got something good. When you go on another mission, Sakai. Acting like a servant girl. Usually works. Why don't you let one of the people run ahead of you? From New York or someplace? And you'll see how much attention to detail they went to for the fact that you actually have to fucking yell to talk to them. <laughs> because they're so far away. <laughs> yeah, I've had a, a run in with a little of that already. <laughs> hey, are you fucking coming? Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, yeah, it was annoying him asking me every five seconds. Or what's you doing in there? I'm like, I'm fucking busy, dipshit. I think they did that part just to fuck with people. And also the fact that horse wants to fuck everything. There's Tilly over there. Not so sure why my horse wants to fuck everything. Not look ideal. Excuse me. I've been looking too long. They Get fuse. your hands off of her. Who are you? What? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. You're making no noise hey, the whole entire time. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. I'll blow your head then off, I'll son. The fuse. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this you really want to say that while I'm pointing a revolver at you, no dick shit? Yeah, okay. it does. Thanks, Arthur. He's got some balls, man. Arthur. Some fucking brass cojones to say her. some shit like that with I'll a gun pointed at him. Try to go in the wrong door. See where it gets me. There's a few characters that you're gonna find out that they're pretty much pinning you to hate with passion. Came in here earlier with a drunk fella, mid twenties, blonde. What for the storyline? Yeah, they're in two big yeah. stairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. And there's a few other characters that they're pinning you to be like this person's pretty cool, like the main character Arthur. He's not that bad of a guy. Ah, right, it's the emotional no storyline. Hey, the, the innkeep just said, no trouble up there, please. <laughs> okay, just for you. I'm getting what I paid for. I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. I knew you would. Drinking. They didn't actually fuck up. Like other game companies. But they have done Hi, I just one shot at him. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Pesto. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. How just could you even fuck up that hard? Like, Dude, Soul Caliber fucking Stephen seven Pesto looks amazing. The Wait, they're right. on to number it's seven? They just banks. barely finished number habit. six. This is livestock town. It's VI. Cash what is VI? Is that six or seven? Six. Okay. Yeah, VI yeah, is six. VII is seven. Okay, so six looks fucking great. You get to be so many people. Apparently, there's a lot of people. Everything's okay up there. I would love for it to run off your save files from the first one, and give you a Holy few shit. extra starting that bits. Kind of like you Ratchet and Kirby? Clank. What? Thank you, Kirby. Arthur. Hold up. You can be like Kirby in full. When I mm, Soul Calibur 6. You can be Papyrus? Like, what? Sure. He only punched me. <laughs> you can be wow. Sam? All right, then. Get hey, dumped upon, huh? That guy over there looking at us. Dude, you can Weren't be you Sam's Undertale. You can be hey, fucking Pac-Man? No, Ain't from there. Well, Damn. You, well, I you definitely could be, saw you be you the guy from The Witcher pillars. 3? Me? No. Impossible. You could be Yoshi? Come here for me. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get you gotta the run home. after him. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. That's a strange. 
Very, very strange game. I gotta chase this oh, no. fucktard. He is really going off in circles. Well, ain't that just tits? I don't have to lasso him anymore. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, uh, I'll cut you loose. Literally, I'm going to cut you loose. Time for your fall. Bye. He reduced his score of Fallout 76. Two or two. Damn, Angry Joe is angrier than usual. <laughs> Gotta go back to town now and return this horse to the man I took it from. It may be an outlaw, but I'm not gonna be a dick. I already have wow, a horse. I don't need to steal another. Even watching his own review of him giving him giving it a three, he went to a two, and now watching it yet again, saying this is the third time he's saying something about the game, he's giving it a zero out of ten. That is something. Where's the guy I stole the horse from? And he's right, literally on, never map. given a game a zero out of ten, Katana. Never in his fucking career. I'm blind. He gave Fallout 6 a zero out of ten. That's saying a lot. What the heck is this? Dude, the fucking servers go down every fucking five minutes. Oh my god. I know, right? Huh. Um here's something I'm not understanding this grayed out area with the question mark in it versus this area that's yellowed uh yellow is quest line and then the gray one is what it's a fucking stranger if you look on the map it literally tells you mm -hmm. it does just look on the fucking map. And then push the X button that says index. I'm not guessing difficult. it's the guy I stole the horse from. What the devil? Or a stranger? Like I said? There's a bunch of strangers in the game. A, a bunch. Actually, so many that I just didn't really feel like killing them. Oatmeal, pork and beans, something, something. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. Oh. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. 
Either I'd kill <laughs> him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand <laughs> something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that. But... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha. Damn. Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back Get photos of, of people I'm gonna shoot. To him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. I <laughs> imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Uh huh. Married six times to six gentlemen. Gambles, robs, outlaws, everyone. Uh huh. What? Never divorced dresses in her widow's weeds. What's widow's weeds? Okay, um... Where's the guy whose horse I stole? There, I returned it to where I stole it from. <laughs> I'm liking the graphics in this a lot. Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, a regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> he started a brawl. Knock my head off. How do I fight back? I pick up my hat because he knocked it off. Stop dancing around and fight. Oh, it's not gonna let me use my guns in here.
Oh, we got a big guy. Damn, these guys can think a lot. Damn, he threw me over a table. And out the window. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy. I'll crack your damn skull open. Damn. Damn that pea brain, Morgan. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Don't take that from him. Come on. Let's see. Dang. It. Get up out of the mud. Stop taking punches. Don't go easy on him. Break his bones, dude. Get out from on top of me, you bitch! There we go. Kick to the nutsack and take care of it. Beat him up! Beat him down! Beat him all around! He started a fight with me because I was making a ruckus. Stop, Fuck you! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Serious? Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Don't kill him, huh? Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You <laughs> He oh, uh, says glamour well, to the man with mud indeed. all over him. <laughs> I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. I keep and wanting to move Sean the camera around in the cutscenes. There's Found no distinction yes, between the cutscenes and the gameplay. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much yeah. money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater. You get pretty much immersed, huh? Talk of them yeah. This is a new level of immersion. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want to watch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Well, that takes care of the mud on your face, but what about the mud on your jacket and trousers and shirt? Multiple missions are available at the camp. Damn, dude. Every fucking... Every YouTuber that's, like, either gotten the game free or bought the game themselves had said that Fallout is the worst fucking game ever. That's just wow, man. Oh, they brought me a horse. 
Cool. And I'm not just saying one or two people. I'm saying literally the whole, all the YouTubers, all of them all the are saying that Fallout all the fucked. people in general. Damn. Right, that'll that'll do it for this bit. <laughs> I'm getting fully immersed in this game. Really, it is fantastic. <clears throat> That's great. I deleted the second save because I only need one of them for this. I only need one on this one. Uh, as opposed to um, Skyrim, where I actually need two saves. Yeah, well, I, I did the two thing to see if I was gonna eat it. Honestly, now I don't need. Dude, I'm gonna be beating the game up like five more times. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fucking eat it. Oh, come on. All right, that's it. This is a tavern farewell.